I didn't make the 1998 Olympic team. I was at the tryout. I was uh, 17 and I was kind of an underdog, so it would have been a long shot, but I, I went to the tryout, I gave it my all, I didn't make it. And that was definitely a setback. But I didn't let it stop me. I didn't let it um, shatter my next goal, which was the 2002 Olympic team. And I think that that's something to keep in mind too, is that you will have setbacks, big and small. You'll have small injuries. You won't make big teams, but you need to keep your eye on the final destination. I'm a big believer in language. Um, and there's many different types of language and we have many different languages here. Uh, but the two that, uh, that I think are the most important for an athlete is body language, how you control yourself, and the language that you say, that, that you speak to yourself with, and what you say. Um, my advice to you guys, or the one advice that I would like to, to share with you guys is, don't let your goals and your aspirations and your dreams up to chance. Don't, let, don't leave them up to chance, but instead take ownership on it. Do it for yourself, commit yourself, on the daily things that are going to change where you're going to end up and focus on the process because if you focus on the end result, you forget the steps that are going to be needed for you to achieve your goals. Because Sweden is a small country, we don't have that many players as uh, Canadian has or the Americans, but we find a group that wanted to, to walk that extra mile together. We had a lot of camps. Uh, in a small town in Sweden and we, we ran together and we did some lifting together and we went on the ice together and uh, for the whole time we talked a lot about putting your heart in it.